now we will work on the second part of our project. As you can see, the base is already established. We have here a beautiful texture and the paint that was mixed with uh, acrylic gel is opaque. So we have achromatic uh, painting of Whitfield with cypresses of Van Gogh. And you can leave it the way it is, or if you are interested, you can continue with application of the colors. So let us start. This time we will be using the brushes and a mixture of different paints. So the mixture of acrylics, um, tempera paint. If you are interested, you can also use oils. I will start with the color of the sky. I can see the white spots here, so I'm just leaving them the way they are. However, for my blue colors of the sky, I will need to have a mixture of blue and some purple and some blue as well. So I have those two colors and I want to work with them by mixing some of the white in them. Notice I will not apply a heavy layers of paint. I'm not interested in it. And this time, just with semi-opaque layers, I will go on the top of my painting and apply the paint here and there. Remember that even when I make mistake by getting the wrong color in certain spots, it's very easy to fix it. I definitely need this beautiful color on the mountains as well. And I'm looking where are my mountains and I can see that they are here. So I can see that they are the white clouds. Ooh, I have to clean it up, but the mountains will be here. So definitely I can come with some paint, the blue paint and right away I apply it here. So what I'm seeing, I'm seeing my trees coming there so that my mountains will be, will be here. See, very good, and there will be some bushes here. So very, very fast. All what I want to do, I want to work really, really fast. I see my trees here, so I right away will go into them and also apply this beautiful color. I'm also looking for the other places where I can work with my uh, colors. Why not to go right away to my trees? See, a little bit of the black will be okay, and then I bring some green. So again, the trick is very thin layers. Yeah, I'm just applying it first, and then thinly, and then what I will do, there's also these bushes here, so definitely going there. You see all this line here that I later can develop by bringing some other colors into it. This will be the tree, so even on the tree I can come with the color, but the color will be more minty. So I have to get, let's see, it will be a better color, this one here, and this is olive tree, so it has a specific color. Yeah, I like this going, and then we'll have here in this spot i assume that's still there so not too much paint that's the trick here see the color changes Whoa. and there will be some other other um green let's see green tree in the back and we have to uh, with different color we have to indicate that's another tree that means we have to use different green color see like this and then maybe a little bit darker in some places like this, like this, see? I'm having lots of lots of fun. That is the most important, like this. See, I still use a very big brush, right? Can you see? Yeah. Then we have some of those lovely lines here in the front. Mm -hmm. And then we have those brushes whatever it is here in the front, whatever, see, like this, more, and there's certainly some other trees here, see, I'm going here with this bush, then we have some other ones here still coming, like this, 
Maybe you don't need mix ink it together more. We will find out. So those bushes here coming and then we change the color. Fantastic. Uh, we can also play with some of those colors in the front. Maybe I will switch now to another brush and I mix a little bit of yellow with white because I want to get just, just a little bit and then I'm going on those sections here. Um, there where I see, I don't know, there should be fields still here, there should probably not, but the artist used this color so that it could create a nice contrast. And this Indy here notice how good it starts looking see just by adding the color so we are not worried about the texture we are just concentrating on making sure that the colors work well together Now we can also come with some white now on the top because we create those dots actually they are already there we'll just reinforce some of them here and there and then put some of the red now we want to introduce some red and maybe even some of the brown and bring it here on the side here of our field Then some of the mixture of yellow and red can come on the top as well. And a little bit more here as well. This. Now the white makes sense on it, you see? Because of the, all the different colors that you have. So white just brings the highlights. See where it is? That's very good. Now, I also want to come in some sections of my green now. See, and create this movement. And I can create the movement by, first of all, I have a smaller brush now, so it's easier. So I don't want to cover everything what I have already on the bottom. I just need to refresh the color. Okay. There will be more going on there. See, creating movements. flowers flowers concentration so you see flower can come here flower can come on the white I even put a little bit on the white so some of those dots especially here could be more visible otherwise the red it's not a mix and on the green it's very important on the green very good we still have to go to the sky but before that I want to work a little bit here on the bottom on my tree and I noticed that the tree has a very specific color. There's a little bit of purple in it too. And the reason for the purple is that it's close to the yellow. So that's why the artist, a very clever man, used the purple here. See, so even on the bottom part here, still a little bit of yellow here because I don't want to have one boring color see like this maybe some of it here then I will come with some whites here as well and I can blend the white too see put a little bit of it here a little bit there this is too strong so I will change it in a second a little bit darker color like this see and then maybe maybe some yellow will come here as well just a touch see and the same here we have to change the colors because when they are boring then we require some additional adjustments that's good 
Now I want to come with another outline. I want to divide this part here. And that's again my own uh, initiative here. And, uh, it's not there, but I think it works better. So definitely we need those outlines. And I need the outlines for the mountains, not this stronger. Um, this also has to be emphasized, and I think I will come with some blue here as well. See that the line will happen here. Yep, a little bit of my lovely line. Like this, changing the color, bringing those strokes here, running like this, and then coming. Now we will, we will now work on the sky, now the colors. So a little bit of it again back here and then we will, and maybe also definitely here. Still have to wash my brush because it became too, too green. So I have to come, mm, you already have this color. Let's see, I want to apply white here. Not so much, I just maybe will leave the section which should be white, leave it the way it is, because we have already the color there. And then I will also come to the mountains to change the color because it's too much of the same right so it's a nice color but it can't be just one here as well okay then we want to go with some outlines again okay i have a big brush that's why i'm making them quite heavy okay like this and bringing some of the color back. Okay, now let me just go back, make the line skinnier, and I can do it. And then just going even, believe me or not, with some white that will nicely mingle into the section. So we have those beautiful mountains. We have to really go back to the sky. And I really, really, really want to develop it now. too, Because we are almost done. You see still a little bit, couple of strokes here of the trees here. But I do want to bring this white just a little bit more. Because I have to cover the lines of the parts. Like you see, for example, skinning up my tree. I can do it now. See, and then it will look good. See, bringing it a little bit skinnier. The same this one here, yeah, see? Becomes becomes the better looking tree. That's all what we want to have. The same here. A little bit more of the paint in this section. And since again I had to cover my um, other colors that I apply on the top, I have to go a little bit heavier with this white and but otherwise I would not need to use too much when I would be more careful. Here it's so busy, which is good, right? Like you see here, still maybe a little bit more of the purple. Okay, then um, just those strokes here. Okay, those strokes can come 
here like this of the tree okay tiny bit of black and brown as well so we probably have to go with the strokes from this side a bit more and we will be done so you see Fantastic. So I hope that you had a good time working with me on this painting and now you will create your own in the style of Van Gogh. Have a good day. See you next time. Bye. Oh, one more thing. See, I still see it here and I see that we need this dividation line here as well. See, a little bit of it. And a little bit more of it here and then this and this and this. Perfect, done. Have a good day. See you next time. Bye.